All right, welcome everyone to this week's Dev Fireside Chat. It's me, Miko, joined here today by Wendy, Sean, uh, Kairos, and Howard from the office. Welcome everyone. Hey. Uh, so we got kind of a flurry of different news from all over different parts of the game, as well as the studio. So uh, I guess what we'll go ahead and start doing first is check in with Howard and see how things are going at the New York office. Howard, you want to fill us in on some of the happenings from this week? Uh, make sure you unmute. <laughs> Oh, he's muted, by the way, yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right, you there? Oh, can you hear me? Okay. There we go, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold it back. Um, this week, it's been good. Uh, we have, like, on the guns front, um, we're basically working on a new map that we've been working on um, that is near completion. Um, and then... Some of it, some of the attention is spent on, uh, you know, Amsterdam, um, getting, you know, some of the, well, basically, you know, getting the bill in a more ready state, uh, especially the switch bill. You know, we're testing a lot of the switch controls right now. Um, it's gotten a lot better. Um, you know, we were just trying to assess how cool and exciting the controls are now that they're working pretty well. Um, so there's going to be like, you know, another rev going on with that. Um, and we're also like just getting ready for the Hampshire Dam Kickstarter, um, which we will announce hopefully very soon. Um, you know, let's, right now it's like trying to get all the, the assets and the pages and all that stuff ready. Um, and uh, well, I mean, if anybody wants to back the Kickstarter project, we will create something special for you guys. Uh, actually, we, we already did it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, so a lot of it's just continuing work on our part. Cool, cool. Um, great. So there's been a lot of things going on as far as that goes. I know we've been talking about it the last couple of weeks with the Kickstarter stuff. I know you guys are probably itching to know about dates and stuff. So that will be released when the time is right. We'll be just want to make sure everything's prepared, and then when we're ready to launch, we'll go ahead and uh, make those announcements all over the place. Right, Wendy? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So she's been working really hard this week on handling all that as well. So you guys will be sure to know, you know when that's going to happen. Uh, announcements will drop as it comes. So uh, in other news, we have things going on in Guns of Icarus. Uh, in particular, some players may have noticed that the uh, Huacha and the Nemesis have been changed a little bit. They've been reverted back to their original configurations before the update, um, the recent update we had for Brawler. Uh, and that's only because, you know, we've been getting some feedback about where it's at and some of the changes were a little too strong. So we're going to give it some time and test. We want you guys to check it out. Uh, it's going to be on DevUp this week. It's already on there right now, actually. And you can check it out for the next, I think, one or two weeks, roughly. And uh, we just want to make sure everything's kind of nice and solid before we decide to redeploy that as its own hotfix later on. Um, because obviously it's very important in the gameplay to be able to enjoy it as well. So if it's too strong or too weak, it's not really that fun. It's one of those things we have to take a little more feedback on before we decide to commit. So with one week of data, it wasn't quite enough. Um, so we just decided, you know, instead of just doing a redeployment of new changes, we're just going to carry that over to DevApp and let you guys keep playing around with it and debating it a little bit more. So if you have DevApp, go ahead and join on in. It'll be every Friday and Saturday. Um, the scheduling is available in the in-game events list you can find under communities. Uh, and if you don't have dev app and you're interested in joining in, you can actually contact feedback at newsgames.com and we'll be happy to give you a key and we'll get you guys rolling into the system itself and uh, provide you information on how you can do, you know, more a part of the program as well. So actually, um, yeah. how can I forget a uh, couple <laughs> other, some other things that we've done. One, okay. Discord integration. So oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. starting next build, um, you know, when people play, uh, they will be like their online, like in-game, you know, match status will be showing on their Discord. Um, and then we're actually working on, um, you know, being able to friend join and invite like from Discord as well. That's one thing. And then another thing that I also forgot is, uh, you know, Xbox. Uh, work on Xbox. Um, we're going actually, you know, short of starting. Um, so we took a look at their documentation and whatnot. Um, we're now like working with Photon to try to, uh, in Unity, try to get um, at least a build going and then still trying to figure out how to do cross-platform voice. But uh, 
yeah, we're we're basically essentially working on that as well. Okay, so we've committed to Xbox then. That's official. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah. Awesome. yeah I don't definitely. think people have heard about this before. And we've. Kept, no, I mean the you know. the thing is that like there's uh there's some things that you know. So for example, um, doing a cross platform build uh, on Unity uh, between Xbox, PC, or Steam and uh, 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 and PS using like Photon, that is still, that, that hasn't been done before. Um, so uh, once again, it's uh, some uncertainty and unknown that we're trying to work through. And then cross-platform voice, of course, between Xbox and PlayStation and Steam uh, has also not been done before. So we're still trying to figure that out as well. So like, I, we, yes, I mean, we have the, the, the dev kits and everything. Oh, and, and Xbox is asking us to do Mixer integration, which we're kind of excited about, actually. Um, so, Mixer. yeah. So we're still going through documentation, trying to figure that out. But yeah, so there's a lot of figuring out. But yeah, I mean, we have the dev kit. I have the, I have the dev kit like right next to me. So, so what would Mixer that. entail for those who are not familiar with that? Uh, Mixer, basically streaming integration. Mixer is like the Microsoft version of Twitch. There you go. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So with that and Guns of Icarus, that'd be kind of nice, actually. It's super integrated that way. So, and that's just for the Xbox platform, then? Yeah, Mixer is uh, Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. cool. All right. So this is all just like announcements right now. There's no hard dates on anything. It's just a technology we're looking to check out and, and wanting to expand into. Um, obviously, we're breaking down new walls with making cross-platform accessible to new platforms as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, I guess we'll just get more news down the road when things really start to get into kicking the high gear there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I guess uh, last week we had a whole bunch of changes with events, um, in particular with events and prizes and such. Uh, Sean, you want to fill us in on some of the happenings that's been going on? Kind of give us the scoop on what's been happening this last weekend? Yes, actually. Um, apologies, as uh, uh, my connect a little bit uh, dicey right now. But yeah, uh, we've got a few things that uh, just happened. In fact, The Crucible just ended uh, their second season on Saturday. And uh, I'm giving away exactly 100 titles for The Crucible. In fact, all three events uh, this past Saturday gave away titles. And I'm going to be giving out over 150 titles associated uh, with the events from this weekend. Very, very exciting time. And a lot of events are uh, Crucible's just starting their new season. Uh, Dev App Testing is now giving away titles uh, for each of their sessions now. They just started up on Saturday. So, I mean, hey, if you're looking for a title to jazz up your profile, now's a great time to get into events. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I know some people really like their titles. So, this is probably like <laughs> a golden era for them <laughs> as far as that goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But speaking on events, um, when you also mentioned we were having other events going on as well. You want to elaborate a little bit on that for our guests, viewers here? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, well, for instance, um, uh, you'll know that Sunday Community Skirmish, uh, the premier uh, competitive event, is every Sunday uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC. Uh, basically, it's one of the longest-running events in the game. Uh, if you're into the competitive scene, much like the Crucible, uh, feel free to check that out. It's definitely the top of the top competitive scene. Um, also, be sure to check out our other events, like, say, Monday Munker Madness. If you like Mines, that's the event for you. Uh, Ultra Party every other Wednesday. Um, let's see, what else? Iron Fork of Friday, uh, which is a very casual, friendly event uh, on Fridays. That is at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC. Is that correct, Wendy? Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. And of course, uh, your standard dev app testing every Friday and Saturday. So be sure to check out all of our events in the community tab in game. Cool, cool. Um, outside of the game itself, though, we also have events going on. And I believe Wendy had some information concerning that because there was a lot of the game events that's been going on in the world, uh, in particular, a certain Las Vegas, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So this weekend, actually, there's the EVO Championship Series, like um, Evolution Championship Series. Uh, it's a fighting game event, which is super cool because we're bringing our favorite little hamster boy, Pim, from Amsterdam, which is the other game we're working on currently. Uh, it is a beat-em-up um, or 
brawler so we thought it would be very cute to have like a different angle on like these super badass fighting games and bring yeah. very cute into that you know like it's it's a bit of a dis disconnect and i think it's going sure. to really deliver we're going with uh cameron actually who is currently in transit um and hopefully he is going to come home with a lot of cool new experiences and a bunch of new people interested in this kind of like genre that we're currently inventing yet again. Awesome, awesome. Las Vegas, huh? That's a great city. Like, have you guys been there, any of you? Howard has nope. probably, right? That's like all across the world for me. <laughs> well, have you been there, Sean? Sean might be oh, lost. I think we lost the connection there. That's fine. We lost him um, in the desert. It's fine. Yeah, no, Las because Vegas Nevada is a good city. I have not, no. Oh wow! Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty well placed. I've been there myself, check out the strip and everything, and then some of the around surrounding areas. It's it, it's an amazing place to have events, though. So I can imagine this is probably full of uh, lots of like, I don't know, just eventy stuff, like full on yeah. convention, everything. Yeah, because well, this week it's of full of of, of esports and people <laughs> who really really are in it to win it. So hopefully, yeah. I mean, like it's a very interesting target crowd to see if people like that would be interested in Amsterdam. But would you describe of, like, the press... event as like um, a press event, or is it more of a gamers getting uh, together to check out the games that are available in the market or coming out in the market soon? Because it's such an esporty event. Esports mm. events are always press events as well. Um, yeah. It's been very interesting reaching out and pinging press because they don't come back and say like, "Oh yeah, that's not, that's that's intriguing." They're like, "Oh my god, that sounds cute! I'm totally coming." Because we send out <laughs> like a sore thumb if you look at the other yeah. games going. It's yeah. actually amazing. But we have our own little corner in the Mix Showcase. We're super happy. Um, currently, we've been on a streak with the Mix Showcases. Uh -huh. So hopefully, we're going to keep that up into the Kickstarter. Cool, cool. Um, I guess I just want to make a mention. Uh, this will be the last Fireside Chat. I will be joining all of you guys in. Um, I have other plans going on in life. And next week will be the time that I'll be departing from Muse Games. So. Um, just as sort of a heads up for all you who are watching who are not aware, uh, we will have kind of a changing of the guard. I think Jennifer will be handling a lot of that in the future. If you had bumped into her before, she's inkjet in the game. Uh, fantastic person. Handles a lot of great stuff and does a lot of the dev app testing already. So if you've done a lot of that, you'll probably bump into her as well. Um, but, you know, this everyone's still going to be continuing with the things that are going on. But uh, but I'll be off doing my own thing, you know, walking walk and walk about and stuff. So um, on that note, I guess for the weekends, uh, same same kind of events that are going on, right, Sean? Nothing special for that this week. Yeah, it's the same events as normal. Um, yeah. It's going to be a new season of Crucible. It's going to be uh, Dev App testing. If you didn't get the title last Saturday, not to worry. Uh, you will have an opportunity, a new opportunity this. And even Friday as well. I believe they're giving away titles for Friday as well. Uh, check with Inkjet and um, and Richard about that. If you are in Dev App testing, ask them about that. Uh, as far as when uh, when they're giving away titles, uh, which days? I believe it's both days though. Uh, but yeah, check out Dev App testing. Of course, Chaos mm -hmm. Skirmish and Sunday Community Skirmish are staples of uh, of Weekend Fair. Cool, cool. And you know, we've been getting like we've had some of the giveaways recently and a lot of events. So. You know, if you guys are new to the game, you have any questions, or if you have suggestions about the game, and this is your first time watching the stream, uh, send us a, uh, you know uh, thoughts and, and reports on back to feedback at newsgames.com. That's the best place to get in touch with us as a team because we can you know we go through all the emails and try to respond to every single one of them we can. So uh, it's a great way to you know get in touch directly with us if you have any questions or comments for that matter. So um, okay, I think that pretty much sums up for this week. So. Again, guys, uh, be sure to join us next week. We'll be back for Dev Games on Tuesday. I will be there for that one. And uh, I guess enjoy the weekend. Uh, collect all those titles and um, have fun in the skies. See you guys around, all right? Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye.